SpaceX, Starship. Elon Musk, the man who believes in keeping human existence going. The man who believes there's a way out if Earth crumbles down. A man with ideas that might be too good to be true right now, but could be actually true considering the amount of effort being put into it. Keeping his hope alive to move to Mars and colonize the Red Planet for decades, SpaceX was just another milestone covered by Musk in 2002 to achieve his dream. One of the richest people currently living on Earth, Elon Musk has a whole plan where to and how to utilize his money for the future. This is According to Science, and today we are going to tell you all you need to know about SpaceX's current and most recent space vehicle Starship that would be used in transportation for not only crew members, but cargo from Earth all the way to Mars. Becoming SpaceX's top priority, the design of Starship got its inspiration from BFG weapons in Doom video games. Initially known as the BFR, short for Big F***ing Rocket, Musk makes sure the vehicle stayed up to the expectations of the name. Divided into two stages, a total of 390 feet long, Starship is shaped in the form of a missile trying to depict the fact that this dangerous rocket cannot be stopped by any natural barrier, even the space. Musk made sure it was strong enough and served the purpose just like his personal weapon, transporting humans from Earth to space. The ship will not only be used as a mean of transportation for human and crew members, but it would be used to carry the cargo and materials needed to survive on Mars as well. Principally, due to the very low marginal cost per mission, the reusable flight will be used to serve more than just one purpose. Other than transporting people to Mars, Starship would serve as a means of transportation for satellites into the Earth's orbit serve as a long duration flight for astronauts and provide the stuff they might need in space and allow astronauts and their cargo to not only go to Mars, but to land on the moon too. Starship would not only be used in space, but could be used to make Earth to Earth journeys that could cover long distances under just an hour. Musk estimates them to be operational by another two to three years. For such a big vehicle, the procedure of landing is a very important subject. Back in September 2016, Elon Musk described the possibility of landing the ITS booster on the launch pad. However, with improvements made in the design and technology, he gave us the updates again in September 2017 with the Big Falcon booster, BFB. According to the SpaceX animation of the launch of Starship, the Super Heavy booster is not expected to land on the launch pad at all. In 2019, Musk finally announced that it will initially have landing legs to support the early VTVL development testing since the entire thing would be too heavy to land without any legs. First revealed in the eyes of the world back in 2016, Starship was introduced as the Interplanetary Transport System or ITS for Mars colonization. The ITS implemented the idea of having a fully reusable spacecraft consisting of two fins and a booster that would stand 400 feet high when assembled. Its first stage would have 42 next-generation Raptor engines, and the booster would be 40 feet wide. The spacecraft would have nine Raptors. The updated version of Starship was introduced along with the name and a sleek design in 2018 and was built with an exotic design. The stainless steel spacecraft built with three tail fins that would stand taller than its 2017 precursor with a height of 387 feet. The spacecraft would still be powered by six Raptor engines with up to 37 Raptors powering the booster. The purpose of using the 301 stainless steel was to make it stronger with the decreasing temperature in the space, making it a valuable improvement to the vehicle. It also has a higher melting point, making it more resilient during the fiery re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. The ship is designed to not only go as far as the Moon or Mars, but Elon states that it is capable of crossing those limits too. Some of the special characteristics of Starship include the ability to withstand extreme temperatures, being reusable, serve automated rendezvous and docking operations, on-orbit propellant transfers between high-quality thermal protection, and it's still open to modifications with the passage of time. The first mission is yet to take place, however multiple test flights with similar systems have taken place to improve any shortcomings and technical problems. 
under the name of Starhopper, multiple tests have been taken and considering all the problems they faced and improvements that have to be made, the first cargo flight to Mars is estimated to take place in 2022 if everything goes as planned. Well, best of luck with that. This was all you could possibly need to know about Starship. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more interesting videos in the future.